Hello everyone. Hi, welcome to the channel of Wall Street Mojo. To know what to know about more about this video, median Excel file. Watch the video till the end, and also if you're new to this channel, then don't forget to subscribe us by clicking the bell icon below. So, welcome everyone. Today we have a topic with us, median. It's a statistical function, and we'll try and get into the all the nitty gritties to understand this topic in a much more detailed format. So. Median function in Excel. See, median function in Excel it gives a median of any given set of numbers and is categorized as what we call as the statistical. It is called a statistical function. The median of any given numbers is the number in the middle of the set. So, median it ensures you know central tendency and which is the location of the center of the group of numbers in the statistical distribution. Now, if we start writing over here, just write median here. With the formula it shows number one and number two here number one and number two is a set of numbers or cell that are references denoting the numeric values for which median is to be calculated now at least one number must be provided subsequent numbers are optional a maximum of you know if you want 255 numbers can be provided in the median function and the input can either either be numbers or it can be names or it can be arrays or cell references you know that contains numbers so any logical values and text representation of the numbers typed directly as input and are also counted by median function now median it also calculates the median of a given set of numbers exactly half of the input numbers and that have values that are greater than the median and half of the numbers have values that are less than median so if there is there are let's say even numbers of inputs then the median function calculates the average it calculates the average of the two numbers in the middle suppose let's say there are six numbers given as input then the median will return to the average of third and fourth number the median function first rearranges the input numerical values in probably ascending it will arrange the value in ascending order and then identifies the middle value. Let's start with the illustration to give you an insight, you know, how the, this function will be used. So you start over here, let's say by saying is equal to median. I'll just use the function here is equal to median. Select the function. You have number one and number two. So you just have to select B3 to B7, close the bracket. You have the median four, which comes in the middle. So it's even. As you can see, the number is odd here, that is 5. So the middle number over here will be 4, which the Excel will reflect. Had it been over here one more number, let's say 4, then it will take the middle of the 2. Sorry, this is equal to median. And see, it will take 4. So the difference of this, 4 plus 5 divided by 2. It's 9 divided by 2. So, it, so it, it will take the middle number. Okay. Now, let's uh, take up. Now, instead of, let's say, cell references, uh, you could give the input values directly, you know, as uh, in this is equal to median. You can say 2, comma, 3, comma, 4, comma, 5, comma, 6. It will show you the same answer. So, the median formula in Excel will return the same output no change okay now if you use even numbers of the values of argument things will change here just write comma 7 you will have 4.5 as the answer okay so suppose you give the nine arguments over here different sort of arguments like 8 9 10 11 12 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So, just let's delete this. So, 9 arguments. So, it shows us the middle number as 6 here. Right? So, it will take the fifth value. I hope uh, you are getting what exactly I'm trying to make you understand here. Now, how to use a median function in Excel? See, median function is very simple and easy to use. Median function in Excel, it gives a measure of the central tendency or average value and is more suitable when the data is skewed or it includes exceptionally high or probably low values. 
Okay, so median is the most suitable measure for the data classified on an ordinary scale. So median function in Excel can be used to find out the median sales or revenue or expenses. Now here, we have sales. So now you want to calculate the median of the sales. To do so, you can use the median formula in Excel here by just typing median formula. So select the whole thing. And if we go, we have the answer as 10302. And you will have this answer. Example number two, suppose you have the height of 12 students here. Okay, given in the cell from C4 to C14 or C15. So you want to calculate uh, the median height of the students. We'll do the same thing is equal to median. Let's go down, select the whole thing, press enter. You will get the answer is 167. Let's go to example number three. Now, suppose you have the petrol prices of different cities in the country for two different months, as it is shown below. For August and September, for different cities, you have two different calculations here to make. So now you want to calculate the median petrol prices for both each month and then compare the prices based on their median values. So to calculate the median prices for August, you can use the median formula. Something like this is equal to median C4 to C17. Okay, and press enter. It will give us 82.42. Similarly, you can uh, find the median value for September. Just to median here, select the whole table. You will have 82.365 as the answer. Now to find which month has the larger median value, you can use the index formula here. Okay. How will you use the index formula? Index formula will be something like this is equal to index. Open the bracket. Okay. We'll say F4 to F5, the months, because that's the array. Inside that, we'll use a match function here. Now, in inside the ma match function, we'll also use called max function. And in match function, we will use max of august and september close the bracket the lookup lookup array is uh, g4 and g5 comma uh, exact match close the bracket and close another one you'll see august has the highest value so i mean uh, why would someone will apply this big formula to get answer i mean someone can just look 82.42 and 82.365 no when you have a huge set of data of thousands or probably millions of data you don't have to you don't have time to see for all the data you have to use a formula to get an answer right it, it, this is just a hypothetical example to explain you i hope you guys are getting it what i'm trying to explain here now let's say you want to compare the marks with the median uh, over here if you can see, uh, you have the marks obtained by student in a class and the marks are given in cell D4 to D23 here. So now if you want to compare the marks uh, with the median marks obtained. So if the marks obtained, let's say, is greater than median, the student will be considered as above and otherwise the student will be considered below average. So to do so, you can use the median following like, you know, the median formula saying is equal to if uh, this value, if the default if the marks if this is greater than equal to the median value you will say if the marks if the marks is greater than the median value of uh, select okay we forgot to take the formula here median of what d4 to d23 just fix this completely fix this one once you do that, comma, you'll say above average. Whatever you want to write in text, you should should be in the apostrophe in the, in this in this way. Uh, comma. If that is not the answer, if the value is false, you know, you will say below average, and close the bracket. That's it. Well, you will have an answer for all of this above in this fashion. Right, so you will have answer. Now you can simply drag and you know rest. All the students will get the performance of each student in this fashion.
I hope you have got the answer that you know how things have been calculated but now I want to explain you that there are a couple of things that you should remember see median function in Excel it gives the median of any given set of numbers at least one number you know should be provided as an input to the median Excel function a maximum of 255 numbers can be provided as an input to the median function in Excel and the input can be either be numbers names arrays or references and the logical value are also counted uh, as the numbers by the median function in Excel so I hope you have got a fantastic idea regarding this topic you have got an insightful information if you have learned and enjoyed watching this video please like comment on this video and subscribe to our channel for all the latest updates thank you everyone cheers